Okay, are you getting all this? If you need more detailed information, you can see the quick start guide for Dyno 2.0 and the manual at the Dyno website on grassvalley.com. Now I'm going to talk about some of the real powerful features that have been added into the product. To begin with, I'm going to talk about what I call nonlinear real-time editing with playlists. So to get started, I'm going to make a new playlist here. We always start our playlist by looking at the highlight screens because really we're going to take highlight clips and put them together in the playlist form that we want to do a highlight package with. So to begin with, I'm going to select a clip here. It's called First Clip. And there's a button called Add PL. So as I press Add PL, you'll see that it gets added to the playlist. And you can see that over here in the playlist screen, as well as seeing it on the power screen. So if I want to add more clips to a playlist, I can do that by pressing the uh, function button, which I call the fun button. And I can select other clips. And you'll notice that when I select them in this particular order and I do an Add PL, they all go into the playlist in the order that I selected them. Really handy for putting together playlists very quickly. Another function that goes along with playlists is to be able to select a section. If you press the, the uh, clip that you want to start with and then the shift button, it'll select an entire range. And then when I press add PL, it'll add all, all those into the playlist. You can see how quickly they were populated into the playlist screen. When it's time to play a playlist, all you do is queue up the uh, top of the playlist by pressing the PL button three times. And what that does is that goes into the playlist screen, queues to the top of the clip, and then of course you're ready to play back your clip. You'll notice that in the playlist screen, it tells you how much time is left in the playlist to uh, play down at the bottom, and it tells you how much time there is in the actual clip to play. So let's queue this back up to the top again. Since this is a basic playlist, I'm going to show you a couple other features that you can do to add to its versatility. One is you can add a pause to a clip that's in the playlist. And you can do that by pressing the function button and then pressing the key that's next to the playlist itself. And you'll notice it puts a pause in there. Now when I start up this clip and I play it, what it'll do is it'll come down to the uh, bottom of that uh, first clip and it will go on to the second clip. And it tells you how much time is left in the clip to play. Three, two, one, and it'll get to the end and it'll pause at that point. Then when you want to go on, you press the play button and it'll go on to the next clip. So just a basic feature that's in the, uh, the playlist itself. So I'm gonna go back and I'll cue this up to the top again and I'll show you that you can remove the pause and you can cycle through the preset uh, playlist that there are. Okay, let me show you how you can add all effects to a playlist at the same time. There is an all effects button that's here on the playlist screen, but if you want to look and review what the effects are that you have preset up, you can go to the config screen and under effects, and you'll see that under flying ME, you set what the transition time is. In this case, I'm going to make it be 10 frames, and then it's going to be video plus audio and a dissolve. That's the flying ME, and I'll show you how that works when we bring our basic playlist back up. Under the mix effects one here, you'll see that that's a 15 frame, and I can have that be a, let's make it be something different, a matte. And you see you can go in and you can change the color so that it's gonna be a white flash, and I say okay. So now when I go back out to my playlist, one of the things I can do is I can individually set what the transition is for each one of the clips, or if I want to, I can go through and have the mix effects for all of them be the same. And you press this all ME button until the ME comes up that you want, and you'll see that all of them get populated with the mix effects one, in this case, which is the white flash. So if I queue up to the top, and I press the play button, you'll see it starts playing down through the clip, and then automatically you'll see that there is a mix effect, in this case the white flash, that happens on each one of the clips. That's all built into the Summit server and controlled by the Dyno controller itself on a single playout channel. So we've made a, a basic type of uh, mix effects based playlist here. One of the things I can also do is I can take to the next clip when I want. This is where the flying mix effect comes in, and you'll see that it will take with the same type of mix effects that was preset. You can also turn the loop on for a playlist anytime that you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of the really neat powerful features that has been added into the system. This is the ability to add a music track underneath which we call an aux playlist. So the way this works is we have a button here in the playlist screen that's called enable aux. Once the enable aux comes up, you'll see there's a new section that's up here. This new section allows me to use 
a, a music clip uh, that is in the summit itself. We're going to go to the a bin that we've created in the summit and we're going to pull the music clip out. But just so you know, a music clip that's inside of the summit was a WAV file that's been imported. All that information is in the quick start guide. So here's how I'll show you how I do this. I go out to the library and I go to my screen where my summit is at and I've got a bin called music. When I open up music you'll see that the clips that have been imported in which are WAV files have a little speaker with them and I'm going to pick this one here. I do a copy and then I go back out to my playlist. I go to this section which at the top which is where we put our auxiliary audio clips at and I do a paste. And you'll notice that now there is two sections within a playlist. There is the auxiliary uh, audio clip that's at the top and then there's the basic playlist that we had that we've already created. As you can see I've got a playlist now that has an auxiliary audio clip associated with it. So let's play that back and now you'll hear that the audio as I turn it up here is playing back at its normal speed along with the uh, playlist itself and even when I change the slow-mo on the controller itself the audio is playing back at its proper speed. This is great for creating what people call music videos, but it's done with a non-linear real-time editing at a live production, and that is really what Dino is really great at. When you work with auxiliary clip in a playlist, uh, you, you need only one output channel. Uh, this is important because you don't need to buy more channels, more dinos. So, that rounds out the uh, section on playlists, and we're gonna move on and talk about some of the other powerful features that we have.